You ever sit down, grab some snacks, open up Cody and try to stream something only to get hit with that annoying message that says this content isn't available in your region? Yeah, it's super frustrating. Or maybe you're just trying to keep things private when you stream. You don't necessarily want your internet provider keeping tabs on every show or movie that you're watching, right? Well, that's exactly where a VPN comes in handy. And if you've never used one with Cody before, don't worry. This video is going to walk you through the whole thing step by step. No complicated tech lingo, no confusing setup stuff, just a real world plain English tutorial on how to get a VPN working with Cody. We'll cover different methods depending on what device you're using, go through the pros and cons of each, and even talk a bit about which VPNs work best without slowing things down. So let's get into it. So what is Cody and why do people use it with a VPN? All right, quick recap here. If you already know what Cody is, feel free to skip ahead. But for anyone who is new, Cody is basically like a super customizable media center. It's free, it's open source, and it lets you organize and stream your own media files, but also access content from all over the internet through something called add-ons. These add-ons can bring in movies, TV shows, live channels, sports, just about anything you can think of. Some of them are totally legit, and some, well, not so much. Either way, a lot of people use Kodi because it lets them build the kind of streaming experience that they want all in one place. Now, here's the thing. Because Kodi can pull in content from different places, and because it's so open and flexible, it also comes with a few issues. Some content might be geo-restricted, meaning it's only available in certain countries. Some add-ons might raise privacy concerns, especially if you're streaming stuff through unofficial channels. Your internet provider might throttle your connection once once they see that you're streaming a lot. And that's why people use a VPN with Kodi. It helps with all three of those problems. A VPN, short for Virtual Private Network, basically creates a private encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. It hides your real IP address. So websites and your internet service provider can't see what you're doing or where you're located. Which brings us to the fun part, actually setting it up. The easiest way to use a VPN with Kodi, no tech skills required. Let's start with the simplest method. If you're using Kodi on a regular device, like a Windows laptop, a Mac, Android phone, Fire Stick, or even an Android TV box, then setting up a VPN is honestly really easy. Here's how you do it. First, pick a VPN service that works well with Kodi. Now, not all VPNs are created equally. Some are super slow. Some don't work well on streaming devices. And some just don't take your privacy seriously. From personal experience and from testing a bunch of these, the three I recommend are NordVPN, Surfshark, and ExpressVPN. They're fast, easy to use, and they work on a ton of different devices. Plus, they don't keep logs of what you do online, which is kind of the whole point. Once you've signed up for one of those by using the link down in the description, just download their app onto the same device that you're running Kodi on. So if you're using a Fire Stick, head on over to the Amazon App Store and search for the VPN. If you're on Android, it's right there in the Play Store. On a PC or Mac, just go to their website and download it from there. After you install the VPN app, open it up, log in with the account you just created and connect to a VPN server. Now here's where it gets kind of cool. You can choose a server based on what you're trying to watch. So let's say you want to stream something that's only available in the UK. You just connect to a UK server and boom, now Cody thinks that you're in the UK. Once you're connected, open Cody and start streaming like usual. That's it. No special settings, no crazy configurations. Just make sure that your VPN is connected before you launch Kodi so that everything runs through the secure connection. This method is great because it keeps things super simple. You're using the VPN app directly and everything on your device, including Kodi, is protected. What if you're using a Raspberry Pi or Libra Elect? Now, here's a more technical route. So if you're a little more tech savvy or if you're running Kodi on a device like a Raspberry Pi or a Libra Elect or Open Elect, things get a bit more hands-on. In these setups, you don't have access to a regular app store, and you can't just install a VPN app like you would on a phone or computer. So instead, you'll need to install something inside Kodi called the VPN Manager for OpenVPN. Sounds a little scary, but I promise we'll walk through it together. First, let's make sure you have OpenVPN installed. If you're using LibreELEC or OpenELEC, you're good. It usually comes pre-installed. If you're on a different system, like Windows, you might need to install it yourself. NordVPN support page also has a tutorial for that, and it's pretty straightforward. Next up, you need to grab the Zomboided repository. This is basically a file that holds the VPN manager add-on. You can get the zip file online. Just search for Zomboided repo Kodi and download it to your computer. Once you've got it, transfer it to your Kodi device. If your Kodi device has internet access in a browser, you can download it directly there. Otherwise, throw it on a USB drive and plug it into your Kodi box. Now open Kodi, head to settings, system, add-ons, and turn on un 
unknown sources. You'll get a little warning pop up and just hit yes. This lets you install stuff that isn't on the official Kodi store. After that, go to the add-ons menu, click the box icon in the top left corner and choose install from zip file. Find the zomboided zip file that you just added and install it. Once the repo is installed, go back to choose install from repository, pick the zomboided one, go into services and install VPN manager for OpenVPN. Kodi will do its thing, installing any extra stuff that it needs. Then it'll ask you to choose your VPN provider and then just enter your login info. If you're using NordVPN, Surfshark or ExpressVPN, just select it from the list and then enter your credentials. Sometimes you'll need special login details for OpenVPN, which your provider can give you in the dashboard or support section. Then you pick a server to connect to, just just like in the regular VPN app. And that's it. Cody's now connected through your VPN. You can even set it up to auto connect every time that Cody launches, which saves time and makes sure that you're always protected. So which VPN should you use for Cody? Here's what actually works. All right, so you know how to set it up, but which VPN should you go with? There are a lot of VPNs out there. Some are free, some are cheap, some are straight up shady. And while I'm not here to tell you what to buy, I can share what's actually worked for me and a lot of other Cody users over the years. First up is NordVPN. This one has been solid for years. It works well with Kodi, it's fast, and it has apps for just about every device that you'd want to run on Kodi. What's cool is that NordVPN also supports the more advanced stuff, like the Kodi VPN manager add-on or router setup. So if you ever want to go that route, it's got you covered. It also has tons of servers all over the world. So if you want to stream something from another country, chances are Nord's got a server there. Speed-wise, I've never had a problem streaming in HD or even in 4K. And privacy-wise, they've gone through independent audio audits, and they also use RAM-only servers, which wipe all data on reboot. That's a good sign that they take privacy seriously. Now, if you want to get started with NordVPN, we'll have a link for you down in the description. Just click on the link and then click on get the deal for the best pricing possible. From here, you can choose from one of their four different plans, and they have a couple different terms to choose from as well. For this example, we'll just select the two-year plan for their plus plan, which is their most popular. Go ahead, click on buy now. And then as you can see, for only $107.73, you're going to get VPN protection for two years plus four extra months. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can try it out, install it on your Kodi device, and make your decision within 30 days. Again, we'll have a link for you down in the description below. Next is Surfshark. Surfshark's a little newer compared to NordVPN, but it's super user-friendly and honestly kind of a bargain for what you get. The big thing with Surfshark is that you can use it on unlimited devices all at the same time. So if you've got Kodi on your TV, your tablet, and your phone, and your whole family wants to use it too, you don't have to worry about hitting any limits. It also works with Smart DNS, which is useful if you're trying to stream US based content on a device that doesn't support VPN apps, like some smart TVs. Performance wise, it's right up there with the best. Speeds are solid, the app is clean, and the setup process is painless. If you're a first timer with VPNs, Surfshark's a great place to start. And if you want to get started with Surfshark, we'll have a link for you down in the description. Just click on the link and then click on Get Surfshark VPN to choose a plan. They have three plans to choose from and three terms to choose from. I'll go ahead and select the most popular one again here, which is their Surfshark One plan at just $2.49 per month. And at the time of the recording, you can get three extra months. Just click on Get One. And this will bring you to the checkout page where for two years plus three extra months, you're getting it for only $67.23. Surfshark is a great value. And again, they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out, see if it works for you and your streaming needs, and make a decision within 30 days. Again, we'll have a link for you down in the description below. Lastly is ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is kind of the OG in the VPN world. It's been around forever, it's super polished, and it's known for being crazy fast. Kodi runs really well on Express, especially on Fire Stick and Android TV. Their apps are lightweight and responsive, and if you ever want to set it up on your router, they've got their own custom router firmware, which makes things a bit easier if you go that route. Like the others, they don't keep logs, and they've been independently audited, and they've got 24-7 support if you ever get stuck. The only downside is that it's usually a little bit more expensive, but if you value speed and stability, you might find it worth it. So if you want to get started with ExpressVPN, we also have a link for them down in the description as well. Just click on the link and click on Get Express VPN, and then they have three different plans to choose from. And it's all the same plan, it's just really the term that you want to commit to. You also get more features when you commit to a longer plan. So the two-year plan is their best deal, coming out at $4.99 per month plus four months free. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So just click on get this deal. And for $140, you're getting two years of VPN service plus four months free. And again, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out, see if it's what you're looking for 
looking for and make your decision then. Again, we'll have a link for you down in the description for ExpressVPN. A few things to keep in mind while you're using a VPN with Cody. All right, so before we wrap things up, let's go over a few quick tips that'll help you avoid headaches and get the most out of your VPN setup. Number one, always connect the VPN first. Before you launch Cody, make sure that the VPN is already connected. This helps prevent any leaks and make sure that everything is routed securely. Number two, test your connection. You can use websites like whatsmyipaddress.com to check if your IP address has changed after you connect to the VPN. It's a good way to confirm that things are working. Three, expect some content limitations. Some apps or services like Amazon Prime Video don't play nicely with VPNs. If you're using Cody to stream something from Prime, then you might wanna disconnect the VPN to get it working. Four, stick with paid VPNs. I get the temptation to use a free VPN, but honestly, they're usually slow, limited, and not super safe. If you're serious about privacy and streaming quality, the paid options are always better. Five, choose a nearby server for speed. If you're not trying to unblock content from another country, then pick a VPN server that's physically close to you. That usually gives you the best speeds and the lowest buffering. All right, that wraps up on setting up a VPN with Cody in 2024. We covered a lot from the easy setup method to using a regular VPN app and more. And we also went over the best VPNs for the job, NordVPN, Surfshark, and ExpressVPN, which are all solid choices that work great with Cody. The truth is, once you get everything set up, it kind of fades into the background. You connect your VPN, fire up Cody, and enjoy your content. But that little extra layer of privacy and access makes a big difference. So if you've got questions about anything that we went through, or if you've hit a roadblock while setting things up, drop a comment down below. And if you wanna get started with any of those three VPNs, we'll have links for you down in the description below. These are affiliate links, which means that we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we cover everything from VPNs and cybersecurity to how to stay safe online and detailed product comparisons, so be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you here in the next video.